With the front off the RJ Camaro, I thought it was a great opportunity to look at radiators and the difference between what we used last year with the ZB and what we used this year with the Camaro. So, this is the one out of the ZB last year. You can see the size of it. Now, last year we had the ability to blank this off and do different things to affect the aero in the car and the, the core, the center section that the air flows through to cool a car down. That was open you could make any call you want and PWR were fantastic they're in Queensland and they do a lot of Formula One stuff as well so they're right at the leading edge of radiators so they would come up with different cores we would try them and with this it was it was limited to the area so you couldn't put a bigger one in it so this size pretty much was all you could put in a ZB we would replace this up to three times in the season so when we went to Darwin and prior to Bathurst put a new radiator in it the idea is to run around 80 degrees Somewhere like Darwin though, in traffic it could get as high as 105, but traditionally it would run around 85 or 90. And this, so this is what the ZB looked like. If you look at the one in the Camaro, 50% bigger. It's a control core, which PWR makes, so everyone's got exactly the same thing. We will go through a whole season just with the one radiator. Now, it's so big that the engine runs a thermostat like a road car. So it blocks off all the water to get the temperature into the radiator and, it, and into the engine. And then when it gets up around 75 degrees, it opens up and lets some cool water back through the system. And then it will block if it goes below 73, say, and then warm it back up again. So there also is a cost saving with this. So besides the fact that we have one for a season, compared to three, these are a bit over a thousand dollars cheaper. So this is about three eight, and we used to pay just under five grand for one of those. Um, while we're here, you notice the tubes running into the top uh, and the bottom of the radiator, and you can see a little bit of the steam coming off it. That's because the guys are getting ready to run the engine up here at the shop. So we have a heater that we, you know, we purchase that we plug into. So plugs into the power, has an element, and a pump in it runs the water through the engine and uh, pre it. So when they actually start the car up, it's got a fair bit of water temperature in it. 